What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, y'all? Today I want to talk about a subject that I think needs to be talked about, needs to be addressed. That is critical thinking amongst the black community. Now here's my thing. You see stories and you see, you know, like like the recent story about the Miami Dolphins incident with the Martin Incognito thing. And automatically when I went to YouTube, I seen some black folks, I'm not going to say all because theoretically and mathematically that's impossible. And then you people that say whenever you don't say all and you guys get all upset about well, all can't. People don't mean all. That's just theoretically and mathematically impossible. But I'm talking about people jump the gun on that. They say, oh, it's racist, it's this, it's that. And then you, you start to see and hearing more of a background story. You find out Martin wasn't as innocent as he portrayed himself. I think that was just the case. He just went to the media first. But that being said, the problem with the black community is there is not a lot of critical thinking among us overall. Some people, there's a, there's a lot of people who do have them, but a lot don't, and these are the voices that are getting heard. Like, people jumped the gun and said, oh, he's a racist, he's this, he's that. But at the end of the day, in the context of their relationship, if that's what's being said, if that's okay, it was okay with Martin for two years at least. But the fact is, that when you get on YouTube especially, or you get any other social media, and you make your point and you say what you have to say, a lot of these guys and women or up here, they get all emotional, they take it personal like you're talking about them. It's like you're talking about their mother or something, or their dad or their kids, and you're not talking about them, but what I think it is, it, it goes so deep, and it cut, it's like a knife that cuts so deep on them, because it's true that they think that you're actually talking about them. And the nicest quote I like hearing is people say this to me all the time. They don't, they don't respond directly to me, but they'll say this to me indirectly. They're like, oh, you don't know me. Well, if I'm describing the situation, I don't have to know you. I know people like you. But the thought is, the critical thing, and the problem with the, not a lot of critical thing, is you get these race baiters like Al Sharpton and Ray, Rachel Maddow, and then they hop on a bandwagon. Next thing you know, you get all frenzied and scurried, and you want to go out and protest. Oh, we need to boycott the Dolphins. You guys are quick to boycott everything, but you ain't boycotting the government, which took away your voting rights and replaced the black people and Hispanics with gay people, as far as the head of the line, which you got to respect that because they use money. But if you were to sit back, and what I did is I heard it, and at first I was like, that's kind of fucked up. So I start, start thinking about, well, that's the context of their relationship. And then, like I said, that's locker room banner. That's, that's, a, that's a men thing. You know, there's camaraderie there. Now, look, man, there's stuff that, whoever were, if you're a man that worked in a factory during the 80s, hell, before the 90s. If you're, if you're a man, a grown man, I'm, if you're in your 40s and you worked in your factory before, you heard worse than this. But at the end of the proverbial day, this was amongst yourselves, and y'all thought it was probably because of the context of your relationship. And that's the problem. People aren't looking at the context of their relationship. Should he have said it? I don't know. You know, my, me and my friends joke differently than that, but that's the context of their relationship. Then you got these black folks, these ones, oh, you're defending a racist. I'm not defending a racist. If that's what the man said, that's what he said. But at the same time, Look at it like this: the teammates are defend the black teammates, especially, are defending him. Now, a lot of you guys are saying, "Well, they have to do." That. No, they don't have to do that. If it was, it was the fact that everybody was running around saying "nigger" on the Dolphins, I'm sure a lot of the black folks on the Dolphins would be like up in arms. But here's where lack of critical thinking comes in. You get these race baiters like Sharpton and all them. All oh, they want to stir up the pot. Next thing you know, you guys are marching down. You guys are marching in Selma again. And you don't know what you're marching about. That's the bad part about it. I just think that, you know, it has to be it has to be done. It has to be a lot of critical thinking. And the problem with a lot of these males nowadays, and I hate to say this and I hate to put the blame on it, but a lot of these males were raised by single women. I'm not saying that single women can't do a capable job, so spare me the little nasty grams in my inbox. But what it is is a lot of these single women, they instill on these guys their traits. They don't steal they don't steal men traits. They instill their traits. Cause I heard one time 
one of the weirdest quotes and one of the terrible, the worst quote I ever heard as far as that was, I heard Deion Sanders saying, now I respect him for loving his mother, that's it. But the problem I had with that quote is, he said, my mom raised me, showed me how to be a man. That's that's impossible. I don't know where you guys come up with this shit. You guys are like, like I know he was just selling himself for this, but I don't know where people come up with this shit. There is no way a woman can show a man how to be a man. Unless she was a man to begin with. You know what I'm saying? But, but, but I digress. The fact of the matter is with these with these guys, they, they have these female traits. And then the problem is, when they run into a, a man, they think they can get away with that. And no offense, buddy, you're a man. You're going to get dealt with as a man. And some men don't play like that. Some men, like, not that I advise this, but some men go hands-on. And I'm like, if that's what gets to take the point, get the point across, oh well. Me personally, I just like nowadays, I'm, I'm too old to be doing, going through that BS. So what I do is I try to talk to these guys, you know, I say, hey, try to show them the way to act accordingly. But they don't want to, I said, you take that into your own risk. So I just give them my two cents on the situations and how I feel. Hope you guys are having a good one. Thank you for listening, watching, and everything. Peace.